Well, tonight, some former employees of a Tapper restaurant that's now shut down want to know why they have not received the rest of their paychecks as promised. It's been weeks since Lucky Dill closed its doors, so they called Eight on Your Side for help. Rod Carter joins us now live from that restaurant on Boy Scout Boulevard. Rod. This is certainly, Stacy, a paycheck problem that no one wants to have. This place shut down several weeks ago, and ever since, the employees here who were let go have been trying to get all of their cash. Inside Lucky Dill on Boy Scout Road, it's like time stood still. The once vibrant place shut down just weeks ago. The owners were evicted. It comes after the company filed Chapter 11 bankruptcy in September. The case dismissed, however, on December 20th. Yeah, I was at home. Woke up, had notes in a group chat that we didn't have a job anymore. Or a final paycheck. Issues with the bank and eviction left employees out of luck with getting their money. They contacted Aid on Your Side and ended up getting a portion of their pay. And they got a promise in this letter of more to come on December 27th. But then they got another letter saying they would get the balance in five days. Today is that day and nothing. How frustrating is that? Well, when you don't have a notice that you got to find out how to get paid in less than a week, it's frustrating. I called a local wage attorney not associated with this case about the employee's options, and Chad Justice at Justice for Justice told me that employees can either file a complaint with the Department of Labor or file a complaint with Hillsborough County for wage theft. Lastly, they can hire a private attorney to represent the entire group. Benjamin just wants something done. He's tired of waiting. When you're owed money and they might not be getting it because they want to play hardball, not pay anybody. Yeah, and this notice of eviction is what greets customers when they come up here. And I can tell you, having been out here for a few hours today, a lot of customers still simply do not know that the place is closed down. And it may be a bit deceiving because the lights are still coming on. Even the Wi-Fi is still working inside the building. As for the attorneys, I did stop by the attorney's office today. I also called the attorneys, and I did not get a response. One of them did tell me she was out of town for a family uh, emergency, so she couldn't talk to me today. But you can believe that Aiden Underside will keep trying to get some answers for these employees and keep trying to find a way to get them their full paychecks. Stacy. And Rod, about those employees, uh, just for example, how much is Benjamin owed? So Benjamin told me he's owed about $800. And remember, he is just one of about 60 employees, he tells me, who's lost their jobs here. And so that's a lot of money. And they just really just want what's owed them. They work, they say, and they want their money. Yeah, seems fair to me. And tough time of year for this to happen, too. Rod yep. Carter, live in Tampa. Thank you.